Russian side. So, uh, so I will ask Mr. Mosvo to, to address us uh, with his, his impressions. <coughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, I will talk not about the uh, relations of, uh, between Russia and European Union itself, because uh, my responsibility is relations of uh, Russian regions, I mean entities of federation with the regions of the uh, European Union, with the uh, regions of CIS countries, and uh, with the countries, with, uh, other countries <coughs> along the border of the Russian Federation. But uh, first of all, uh, I would like uh, to welcome you all here in Moscow. I hope you will have enough time uh, to visit some places of interest and uh, just to take a walk along the main Moscow streets. Uh, I have heard that you will visit Kremlin today. Uh, well, I should say that you are lucky people because I am living here for more than 20 years and never have been to, to Kremlin as a tourist. <laughs> 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 Just to, uh, <coughs> to, to, uh, to contact with some officials. Uh, I wish you a good time and fruitful work here in Moscow and in Moscow. Uh, so a few words about uh, inter-regional and uh, cross-border cooperation of the region of the Russian Federation. Uh, one of the gross areas of the Russian foreign policy uh, in the main of the general international uh, tendencies is linked to the region and the transfrontier cooperation. The development of uh, interregional and cross-border links <coughs> has become in the past few years a very sustainable factor in the social economic development of the country and individual region. An integral element of our relations uh, with a wide range of states. It has been largely thanks to the growth of the ties that Russia has been able to advance uh, substantially in forming and build a good neighbor lines along the entire perimeter of its border. Many and very large economic projects with uh, foreign countries are the product of the direct contacts established at the inter-regional uh, level. The effective use of these foreign policy instruments I mean cross-border and inter-regional uh, cooperation, he is called upon to assist the economic development of Russia's regions, the attraction of foreign investment and advanced technologies into the economy and the creation of a favorable atmosphere for humanitarian exchanges. The enormous border perimeter, more than 60,000 kilometers, the large number of land and sea neighbors, and the diversity of the potentialities of Russia's region in terms of international cooperation form a considerable resource for the development of the country. The Russian Foreign Ministry pay a great attention to assisting the entities of the Federation in building up their foreign and external economic relations. This fully corresponds to the priority tasks of our foreign policy, to provide favorable conditions for the stable economic and social development of the country and for improving the living standards of the Russian citizenry. We do our best to stimulate the international and foreign economic activity of the entities of the Federation. We regard this as an important resource of our foreign policy and of the promotion of mutually advantageous economic community. We started with the Mediterranean and we created what is called ALEM. That's a mechanism where regions and local authorities <coughs> within the European Union and local authorities and regions in the Mediterranean states outside the European Union, so the Northern African states, come together, have working parties, have common documents and make common suggestions to their governments and to the European Union. This structure has received the observer status for the Union for the Mediterranean. So we have done there something quite concrete and we're doing it for two years already. Only two weeks ago, we started the same process for the Eastern Partnership countries, for the six countries in the Eastern Partnership, um, Georgia and, and, and uh, Belarus, and the six countries which are, which are the Eastern um, uh, border of the European Union. They will do the same thing. What is now still missing is that we develop also, in this new framework strategy, 
with the Russian Federation because you have a direct partnership with the European Union and we have to, even at the level of regional level, develop the legal, the legal, or to adapt the legal framework which we have for the moment. The problems are manifold. I mean, you were already talking about uh, these problems. Um, and most of these problems, at least for the European regions, are also the competences of regions. If I start with border control and um, problems like human trafficking, drug trafficking, um, immigration and integration problems. All these problems in many European regions are dealt with by the regions. Obviously, we need a framework agreement between the Union and the States and Russia. But in the end, and that's also the approach of the other two um, uh, structures I described, Arlen and Kordi. Kordi is the structure we have created with the Eastern Partnership countries. We want to have concrete proposals how to solve this. Thank you very much, Christian. Uh, I let you a little bit else. We don't need to make the annual conference now, because you were touching exactly <coughs> the points that we want to introduce the, the use of the instruments, and also to make some invitations to our colleagues outside the EU to try to make things together. So thank you very much because it's exactly one of the, the main reflections we, like, we want to make during the next days. I think it was also very interesting for you to put on the table all these instruments policies.